Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make sort of a cracked mud material out of a, just out of a diff diffuse texture I found on CG Textures. Go here, and I have soil cracked, yeah, we got all these nice cracks here, I'm going to create the height map. So you see how height map is, uh, is, is your, using the default values, it just sort of, you know, it doesn't present anything interesting, but if you use a cracks preset, now all along the, uh, the edges where the cracks are, you can see it brings, it brings the, the height up, and if you show, let's see here, okay, Set a site map and show full material. You can see how it kind of like lifts up the edges of those cracks. I'm going to work on this a little bit more and get something pretty good. With that bias and the contrast. I think that's pretty good. Alright, so now we don't need to use these color samples because this is a pretty uh, uh, monochrome monochrome texture. It doesn't have a lot of a lot of different types of materials in there. So I'm gonna create a normal map. And you can see how it's it's created that dip in the center of all of these little little islands here. Use the crisp. Bring up some of the some of the larger shapes there. I think that looks pretty good. So that is the home map. Preview that. Yeah. Not the normal map. You can really see how it it's got those nice dips. So metallic map. I'm going to skip that because there is no metal on this at all, but I will create a smoothness map, and we use color sample one, pick one, I'm going to pick, so there's these, these little light spots, and then there's these sort of more brownish spots, and we'll just see what, what we can pick out of here. Mostly the luminosity is what we're gonna what we're gonna get from this. Alright, so turn off isolate mask. And I think the these darker areas should be a little bit smoother than the really light areas. I'll pick another color. I'm gonna pick It's lighter than that other color we have. Maybe repick this one to be a little bit darker. I think that's good. Alright. Isolate this mask. Bring it up. You can see we got just the just the little tips of these guys. We didn't really have to do anything with these bars, but we'll mess around with them just to see. Yeah, I think that's fine. Turn off isolate. Make these guys darker. Then we'll bring up the high pass overlay. Yeah, you can get some really strange effects going on. Turn down that base smoothness a little bit. It's a pretty rough material. Rough surface. And we'll see how that looks. Set that as smoothness. We'll create an edge map. Don't really need too much edge 
stuff. Just get a little bit in the cracks there. Set that as the edge map. Create an ambient occlusion. Turn up the, the depth contribution so these cracks in here get darker. I think that's good. Good for the the spread. Set that as a little map. Let's check out the full material. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Bring that light around. Hello, light. I think you almost don't even need any smoothness. It's supposed to be so rough, but we'll, we'll leave that smoothness as it is. It's pretty dark. Uh, so, now if you look at the tiling, you notice it doesn't tile. So it's, you gotta go and fix that. And we do that with tile maps, this button right here. So we just click on that, and that brings up a new dialog. And here we choose the size of our of the X and Y map that we want to we want to make. The default is 1024. I'm going to bump it up to 2048 by 2048. And so with this, the way this uh, tiles the map right now, it stretches it over itself a little bit, and you can use that to fix uh, aspect ratio issues. And just sort of dial it in. So with the overlap at 0 0.1, it doesn't overlap at all, really. And then you just bring it up, and you can see it at the bottom where it's coming up. I'm gonna up the up the fall off there, so we get a nice smooth transition. Sometimes you want a tight transition. Sometimes you want a smooth transition. Overlap X. So you want to have the overlap X be a little bit bigger than the overlap Y because this was a uh, a non-square non texture to begin with so to correct the aspect ratio you want to make it a little bit stretch it out uh, its width out a little bit so I think that's all right. We can check the tiling here. Yeah, we still got there's a little bit of wonkiness at the bottom, but it's it's a lot better than it was. And I will take that. That is good. So when you hit set maps, it's gonna tile all of these maps, and you you can't undo this. So make sure that. You are happy with your changes before you click it. You can see it go through and change all of those. Now we show our full material. There it is. We got the cracked earth here. Up this displacement a little bit. I think that's yeah, it's real dramatic. Alright. We can just save these guys as whatever. Save this as uh, racked dirt. Save. And it builds all of our textures there. You got the ambient occlusion, you got the diffuse, and see it gets a little bit funky where it tiles. You could maybe fix that in Photoshop. Uh, the edge and the displacement and the normal smoothness and there's of course there's no metalness because we didn't make a metalness but yeah there you go bring up this tiling a little bit there cracked dirt material Uh, 
All right.